Hey lovelies, welcome to another episode of Stella Damas' Diaries. How have you all been? It's another week and we're here again. I have a question to ask you. Now, is it a deal breaker if each time you ask your boyfriend for money, when you ask him, he doesn't give it to you? Well, he gives you when he wants to, but when you ask, he's not obligated to give it to you. Is that a deal breaker for you? Think about this, but don't go anywhere because I'm coming right back. She's so beautiful. Welcome back. Okay, so today I want to talk about something that someone sent to me. So I do this show on my Instagram called Astella. And um, people send in questions about their relationships and what I think they should do. And I just give them my opinion. It's not like I'm telling you this is what you must do. But I say, hey, this is my opinion. This is how I would do it. Okay. So one of the, uh, the emails that I received, there's a young lady. She said that her boyfriend decided to move to Italy to study. And um, whilst he's studying, he would have to work part-time to raise money for his tuition because his parents could not afford, you know, to pay his tuition. And so he left for Italy. And from time to time, you know, he would send her stuff. He would be nice. I know he's a nice guy generally because she didn't complain about him. But her problem is that when she asks him specifically for money he always comes up with excuses oh i don't have oh you know i'm paying for this or you know i have to do this i have to do that but that she's upset because he sends money to his family and she sees it because they you know they tell her oh he just sent this to us so thank god and all that you know so he will send to the family but when she asks him he will come up with an excuse and all that that not that he doesn't do anything for me it's just that when i ask him you know and the one that pained her the most was the day she asked him for a phone. She wanted to upgrade her phone. Not like she doesn't have a phone. She wanted to upgrade her phone. And the guy said, oh, he couldn't afford it right now, that she should please give him time. But that she found out that not too long after she had asked for a phone, he got a phone for his sister. That, look, she's tired. She doesn't think that, you know, he loves her enough. She doesn't think he's the kind of person that will take care of her, that, you know, she's done with the relationship, that what do I think she should do? Hey, when she asked me that question, at first I was like, well, if, I, if, if I say exactly what's in my heart, she might take it the wrong way. So I had to break it down gradually for her. Because first of all, this is a guy that has gone to another country alone to study. And at the same time, he has to work part time to pay for his tuition and also take care of his family who couldn't even afford to send him abroad in the first place. They had to manage, send him there, but there are so many things they couldn't afford. So Im- Im- imagine this. So you are abroad, you are alone. Nobody knows your living condition. You are in school and you're working. And apart from paying your tuition, your, your accommodation, your feeding, your transportation in another country, you are obligated to send money home to your family as well, all from your part-time job whilst you are still studying. Then a girlfriend who decides that is the boy that should be sending her what she wants, when she wants it. You're the one that feels I have the right to complain and to ask that "Ah, you can't or you want to leave the relationship. So the question I asked her on my show that day, which was very controversial because apparently people of this generation, they think different. When I say this generation, they think I'm not old, though. <laughs> but I, I, I feel like I have a different mindset when it comes to certain things. Cause a lot of people were like, why shouldn't he send money to her? She should have a right to ask her, is he not her boyfriend? If somebody else sends her money now, he will complain. After all, he's her boyfriend. I'm like, hold up. Did you did you start dating this guy because you know you were looking for someone to spend money on you whenever you wanted? Because don't forget, she said he was a nice guy. He does things for her, you know, once in a while and all of that when he can. But that why is it that when she asks, he comes up with excuses? I'm like, come, 
I don't know if you're dating this guy for his money or if you truly love him, you know, because I know that there's a difference between when females say I have a sugar daddy and when you say I have a boyfriend. Not like your boyfriend shouldn't do stuff for you, but is he mandated really that whenever you ask, he must do? Because I'm trying to find that middle ground somewhere. What I realized from reading a lot of comments was a lot of people feel that dating somebody automatically means he takes over your responsibility. That's not true. As far as I'm concerned, as when I've studied relationships, I've thought about dating, I've, I've, I've studied all these things, and I don't see that dating is the point where they take on your responsibility. If they do, that's a blessing. I'm not saying they can't. From their hearts, they can. But I don't see that it is mandatory. I don't see that it is a must because you guys are getting to know each other. You're not married. This person has a family. You are not his family yet. You're just his girlfriend. And this is one of the reasons why I say a lot of women come up to me, oh, I feel disrespected. I feel disrespected. Then when you trace it, you find that it's because they have made themselves in such a way that the man feels or the guy or your boyfriend or whoever is dating you feels that after all, it's my money that's funding you. It's my money that's taking care of you. My... Look, I don't judge you. Let's not get it twisted. I don't judge. If you meet a man who's rich or a young guy who's rich and you, you decide to date him because of his money, that's your problem. I don't judge. You know what you get from him. He knows what he gets from you. I'm not judging anybody, please. But when you have a serious relationship with a guy, a young guy who's still in school, who's trying to get his life together, who's trying to balance his life, and you want Bone Street, you want designer bag, you want uh, Mez, I mean, what do they call it? You, <laughs> you want, um, what's that thing called, Ber Birkin? I think so, whatever. It will shock you to know that I'm not even very good with all the designer names and all of that, because that's not what my focus is. But anyway, a lot of guys on Twitter have come to complain, ah, these girls, if you don't have this, if you don't have that, if you don't buy them this, if you don't give them that, or yo, they won't date you, they won't do this, they won't do that. I'm like, really? When did it get, when did it get so bad? that whenever a girl is dating a guy, the next thing is, oh, I want this, I want that, I want that, give me that, buy this for me, oh, you don't want to give me this. And then they start fighting over money, over material things. And so I asked the girl, I said, of course, I, it was anonymous, so I had to ask questions. And I'm like, what made you date this guy in the first place? Because when you were dating him, he obviously didn't have a lot. For him to want to go abroad to study and do part-time work to, you know, help his family. What did you see in him that made you decide to date him? It couldn't have been money. Do you understand? It couldn't have been money because he didn't say he came from a wealthy home. His parents could barely afford to do anything. He's the one taking care of them. So is it that you, did, you don't consider the fact that he has parents, he has siblings who he has to help and take care of? They're all dependent on him. And you decide to put your own issues on his head. Like, how? how where, do, where, do you, where do you get off? I mean, why do we think it's okay? And please, before somebody stands up to say, hey, feminism, you're doing feminism, you're saying women shouldn't ask men for money. Mm-mm. That's not what I'm saying. If it's an emergency, if it's a fact that you don't have and there's no other way for you to get it or something and you feel like, oh, he can help you, you can ask. Now, whether he gives it to you or not is up to him. It's not up to you. You can ask him. If that's the last resort. But it's not like, oh, my cream is finished. Hey, honey, I want to buy cream. Give me my, I want to buy this latest uh, uh, bone straight. Hey, this... Uh, Come on now. The guy takes you out. He pays for it. Takes you to dinner. He pays for it. Your birthday. He's doing this. He's doing that. He's, he's making you happy. He's making you smile. He's a nice guy. But you feel that it's, you want to ask him for specific things when you want it, how you want it, how much you want. And when he can't, that's a deal breaker. I'm really wondering because I have a lot to say about this, but I'm also trying to balance the skills because I'm not saying that a guy shouldn't support you or, you know, make you happy or something. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying, when did it get to the point where it's a, it's a rule that once you're dating somebody, 
you can just pick up your phone and be calling and be asking for whatever you want. It's not your, he's not your cash cow. He's your boyfriend. You're getting to know him. You, you're, you're supposed to love him, right? You're supposed to have a connection with him. How money got into the whole mix and everything changed, I don't know how, okay? I really don't know how. But I'm going to come back. I'm going to share with you how I feel about this and what I think can be done. So don't go anywhere. Think about all I've said. I will be right back. Welcome back. So before the break, I was talking about deal breaker, about the lady who sent me an email talking about her boyfriend who went to Italy to work and school. And um, she would ask him for money and he would make excuses, but he would send money to his family. And I was talking about how I felt about it. But here's the thing. This person is a boyfriend, right? You guys are connected. You're getting to know each other. You're dating to, you know, hopefully the the relationship is supposed to progress into something more solid, you know, for those who are in serious relationships. He's a boyfriend, not a husband. Your husband marries you, takes you from your father's home or wherever you live, and then your name changes. You become what? His responsibility. He's supposed to take care of you. The boyfriend is not that. He is not responsible for you at that point. You're just dating. He's not responsible. Maybe you have to repeat it. Your boyfriend is not responsible for your livelihood. <laughs> okay? Especially for those who are dating because they love the person, not because, oh, I see money, I see this, I see that. Okay, let me go. for That's a different thing. That's up to you. But he's a boyfriend. He has a family. He has siblings. You don't want to add to his pressure. You don't want to add to that. Because I don't see why it's a deal breaker that he doesn't. And please remember that I said she mentioned that he was a nice guy and he would do things for her when he can once in a while. But when she asked him, I'm like, have you thought about the fact that he also wants to be sure that you are not the type of woman that will be very materialistic and be very demanding and will nag when you don't get what you want. Because some of the comments that I read, they were saying, eh, she should test him now. So that before marriage, she should know if, you know, he's a giver, whether he can take care of her. And I'm like, remember that this lady said he was a nice guy and he would do things for her. So whilst you're there saying, oh, maybe she's testing him, maybe she needs to know, what about him? He needs to know the kind of woman that he's going to be married to. No, he's studying. He's working, taking care of his family. You are demanding phone. I'm demanding this. Let me tell you something. I don't know how other people see it, but this is how I see it. And this is how I raise my girls, my daughters. I told them, I said, get your bag. For those who know what that means, get your bag, work, earn your money, make your money so that when you need someone, nobody will hold money over your head. Call it feminism, call it whatever you like. If you are dating anybody, if he's taking you out to dinner, taking you out to a nice place, whatever, okay, let him pay. Why not? If it's your birthday, fine. If he wants to pay for something, whatever he wants to do, let him do, but don't ask him for money. Don't ever put yourself in a position where somebody will hold something over your head because of money or take you for granted because of money or make you feel like I'm the one that's funding your life. Hell no. Don't let anybody look at you and make you feel like they are funding you, that without them, you can't achieve this or you can't do that. Never. Never. I'm sorry if, I, if you feel I'm getting very emotional about it. This is how I feel because I'm raising girls, man. And I'm telling them, go out there and work. When you meet a guy, people meet on the same level. He knows that he's not using money to bamboozle you because it's in money, you've seen money and you're working. You are working for your money. You are making your bag. Okay? You are getting your bag. It's not, I need this. I need that. Let him wonder. Ah, I'm, ah, she doesn't ask me for, she doesn't. Let him start to want to do things for you. Because he's wondering, she's not, I, I don't even have to do this. I don't even have to. That's how I see it all. Let him be the one to say, hey, I got you something nice. Oh, thank you. Genuinely. Accept when he gives you. Why not? Be happy when he does something for you. Beautiful. 
when he brings stuff, when he buys stuff, and he says, let me take you out shopping, take it, accept it. He wants to do something good for you, take it, but don't go ask him. That's one of the very, the fastest way to belittle yourself in front of a guy. That's not your husband. I need this. I need that. I need that. One day, what you will hear is, ah, please, is it every day? Ah, please, I'm busy. I don't have now. But I just gave you this, which day? But you already have three wigs. What do you need a fourth one for? Before somebody will start talking down on you or start telling you, you know, how much you should take out. So, in fact, it will come a time he will even look at you and tell you, why don't you get something to do? Find something to do. Get a job. Or, you know what, maybe you consider side hustle so that all this small, small money come in and you use it to buy these small things you need. I'm telling you, that's, that's what I tell my girls. I don't know about anybody else. I don't know how you feel about it, but I tell my daughters, you have a boyfriend today, he's not your husband. He's not responsible for you. Don't ask him for money. Don't ask him for money. Work hard. Make your own. Have your own account. Have your own accommodation. Live well. Anybody that's coming to date you knows that he's coming to add value to your life. Not because you need his cash. Value, real value. Not one dollar phone. What would that do for you? When your focus should be higher than that, aiming higher, not to bone straight. Oh, phone. Oh, this. No, no, no. You should be able to afford that on your own. When he buys something for you, it's a plus. You are appreciative of that. But other than that, darling, I don't know. A lot of people will not agree with this, but to each his own. Because I feel very uncomfortable. I feel very uncomfortable when I see young girls do these things. And then they ask, hey, he's not doing it for me. He's not a good boyfriend. I, I, I'm not. I'm like, so is, is it that the world of dating has now become about how much he can give me or how many times he can give me when I ask him or, you know, who gives more? And then you find that a lot of people, they start to compare guys, you know, based on, oh, this one is very stingy. Akagom. <laughs> If you haven't heard, or if you don't know what that means, Aka is hand, glue, like aradites, like glue. Money doesn't leave their hand. That's what it means. But it's, I don't think that a relationship, especially that's not a marriage, should be based on money. Like, I'm still trying to find the right words to make you understand how I feel about this, because sometimes I get embarrassed when these young girls send me emails and I'm reading it and I'm shaking my head like almost on a daily basis, like, what is wrong with you? Work, do something. Find something to do. Find a side hustle that will be paying for your small, small things. If you need support for a big project or something, that's, that's different, though. If you feel he can afford it, you present your, your projections, your, you do your presentation, fine. If he can afford it, fine. If he can't, just say, please, do you know anyone or do you have some? But say, I want to buy phone. I want to buy data. I want to buy credit. I want to buy this. I want to buy, ah, bad now. Somebody who says, I will support you doesn't mean flood the person with daily needs. There are some basic needs that a woman should be able to get for herself in this day and age. Come on. There's some basic necessities that you should be able to afford for yourself and get for yourself without asking anybody. If you're not able to do that, then something is wrong. That's what I always say. If you can, if you can afford little things, feminine things, your hygiene stuff, things that you need, your monthly cycle stuff, your hair products, your skincare, your this. If you can afford those things by yourself, that, that's good. That's not bad. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't understand how people see these things. Well, talk about it. Let's have a conversation. Some people might not agree with me, but if you don't agree with me, I would like to know why, and I would like to hear someone's, you know, perception of everything that I'm saying. Okay, but don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Welcome back. I hope you've had a, an amazing time with me today. And um, for those of you, like I said, if you do not agree with what I have said, I want to hear from you. I want to know why. And I want to understand it from your own point of view. 
so that we keep the conversation going because we're talking about the future of our, our daughters and our sons here, right? <laughs> okay, guys, I can't wait to see you again next week. But don't forget, it's not who people say you are. It's who God says you are. See you soon. Bye. She's so beautiful.